This is Hayden Lamont from SHC TV, and today I'm very lucky to be joined once again over Zoom by Jack McGann, how to fight this Friday on the Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou on the card in Riyadh, Saudi. So yeah, mate, how have you been since we last spoke, which I think was October just before you fight against Duran Jr.? Um, I've, 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 been, I've been good, mate. Obviously, I, I, I had the, the amazing, amazing week in Saudi last time, and then with the fantastic results, Christmas and everything in between, and the whole camp and now I'm, I'm back I'm back here in Saudi so yeah everything's been everything's been everything's been good it's going the right way that's good to hear mate so what I wanted to sort of start with is sort of a recap on obviously the last fight knocking out Roberto Duran Jr in the second round on the Fury vs Ngannou on the card how did you sort of find that moment because obviously you know we spoke just before it and you said you wanted to make a statement you made a very big statement obviously getting the win on that card how, how did that sort of you know whole week how did that you know, obviously getting the win. How was that whole process for you? Um, the whole the well, well, the weekend Saturday was like something out of out of a out of a dream, out of a fairy tale, out of, out of a. It was mad. Probably mad it was. It, it was it was an experience in itself. Never mind just in my fight career. And I've also said, with just stand by it. It was it it was one of the best weeks of my life. Um, and then you put that result on the end of it, which was just icing on the cake. But um, as far as the the stoppage in the fight goes, I wasn't surprised by it really because I've I've got a saying: whatever happens in the gym, leading up to the fight, it'll happen in the fight. And for that camp, for that fight, in me in me spars, I, I kept hurting people and catching people, catching people, big good lads as well. So when it, the same thing happened on on the night, I went, I wasn't I wasn't shocked. You know what I mean? I wasn't su surprised by it because it, it it had been happening back home. So then, obviously, you know, on to this upcoming fight on the AJ versus Ngannou on the card. You know, it's this Friday. It's fight week now. You just arrived in Saudi just over the weekend there. I saw the video, actually, on Instagram, on Turk El or Sheikh's Instagram of you arriving. I think that's on, like, 60K likes, which is mental. Um, yeah. You know, so how, how did this fight sort of come about? Was that sort of off the back end of the last fight? How did it sort of come about, and how long have you known about it? Well, I've got a great relationship with Spencer Brown, and, and Spencer Brown's got a big part to play in this whole in this whole Saudi picture and, and, the, and the fights that keep happening here. So I owe so much to him. But originally, my fight was supposed to be, I was supposed to be fighting for the British. Channel 5 won the purse bids for that against Sam Antwi. Um, and they kept, Channel 5 were messing everything around, so they, they, they lost their position. So then it went back to whoever was second in the purse bids, which was Frank. So then it was meant to be me and Sam Antwi in, 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 it was it was supposed to be me and Sam Antwi for the British this Friday instead of Louis Green. Um, and then Sam Antwi agrees with all and then him and his team vacated the belt. So um, about six weeks ago, we, we, we was um, stuck with no fight and, and then Louis Green come on and, 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 and took it. So that's how we ended up back here. But um, yeah, the, the, Back in Saudi thing was was I've I've been it's been scheduled for the last six weeks so the opponents changed but I think another part of it is it's the it's the power of the knockout so I had a great knockout here last time people like that people like to see that and you know if they put me back on they'll they'll probably get it again so um I wasn't surprised with the with the invite back. Hundred percent, mate. Just quickly, what was your sort of um you know reaction to Samuel Antwi uh, vacating the brush? I wasn't surprised, to be honest, because, because well, I thought he was going to pull out with an interview or, or something because I just don't think he wants to fight me because he, he, even when the fight was, was booked before page bids, but it was definitely going to be me. Um, he was doing like interviews and podcasts and just didn't mention me or the British one. So um, there was no real, um, there wasn't much energy for me towards the fight, you know what I mean? Um. And then I was really surprised when it went, when he agreed to it. When he agreed that it was going to be inside you on this show, like how much more exposure do you want? You know what I mean? You're not going to get on a bigger stage than that, or you'll do well too. So I, I, I was actually surprised that he turned down at that point because that's that's such an opportunity. But he has that's gone. So um, what more can you say? Yeah, one hundred percent. So then, obviously, you know, onto your opponent now. You know, Louis Green. How how much do you sort of know about him, and what do you think you can sort of use if you know much about him to your advantage in the fight? 
you know, it, it's um, I've seen Louis Green fights a couple of times now, and, and he's fought some of the best lads in the country, and and he's, he, it's going to definitely be me toughest test of me of me career. But I think it's one that is coming at at, at the right time because if I want to prove that, um, I'm where I know I am, then I've got I've got to get to the the, the type of people like Louis, the type of fighters like Louis Green. But as far as his fighting style and everything else goes. He's um what you see is what you get. He's a, he's a come forward guy who's who's game is anything, um, and I'm I'm will fight till the very end and 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 um he's got he's got a great engine on him. But he's been in the twelve rounds plenty of times, or the ten rounds plenty of times, and 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 um you you in for a tough night. So I've trained accordingly to that. Hundred percent, mate. So obviously you know on to train him. Um, you were out training in America. How how sort of you know was that whole. Uh, time period, you know, training in America, obviously being out of your comfort zone, and would you say it's probably the best camp of your career so far? And yeah, how how sort of was it? Yeah, it was definitely at my comfort zone. I love being, I, I love being alone. I love being by my family, my mates, and 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 I'm, and stepping away from that was 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 hard. I think I think I've been away for like, I think I was nine weeks there, and then by the time I do a week here, like I I left January second. To America, and then I think I'll be I'll, I'll be back in England in March ninth. So it's a decent little stretch, but with that with that sacrifice, come there was nothing else to do. It was just training. There was no distractions. So I definitely got the best work I've ever had, which is a real cliche cliche comment that I, I, everyone always says when it comes to fight camps. But it, it 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 was I was just locked away, and it was just let's go to the gym, let's go to the gym. There, there was nothing really else, and um, we, we well. There's nothing really else in Albuquerque to do apart from train, but we found a few things to keep us busy. But it was um, as far as an experience goes with the fight camp, it was it was it was a it was a, a boss time for us as well. So you know, obviously, if you were to get the win on uh, Friday, do you think obviously it was? I'm pretty sure it was ordered that you'd be fighting Sam Gilly. Do you think that fight would be next for the British? Um, if you were to get the job done on Friday. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know what the. I don't know how it works. This is like my last fight. My last fight, I, I had... Um, I was fighting. And then, like, two weeks later, it was the purge bid for me and Sam and Um, and, and this one's the same. I'm fighting Friday, but then next Tuesday, the 12th of March, is when it's purge bid for me and, and, and Sam Gilly. So I, don't know, I don't know how my result affects that. Obviously, obviously um, after the win... Um, that's it. It's it's all in place. It's the the twelfth of March goes to Paris Bridge. The fight has to happen by the end of July, and and we we'll see, we'll see where 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 we end up when it lands. But yeah, that that, that that's what's next. But it's like as I said, I mean it's the same situa- situation as last time. I can't. I'm not even thinking about that it's because I've got to fight. I've got to get to Louis on on Friday, and he's got he's got all my attention. So as soon as that fight's done, I can switch over to Sam. But for now. Um, I'm not really thinking about it to be honest. I 100 percent mate. And, so- and then you put that sorry, you you put that before all the mess and mad I've had with with with, with the board and page bids and and everything else. I've been involved in page bids and I, I've been involved in 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 in, in eliminators page bids, whatever else for like nine months now, and I still haven't fought for the British because of one reason or other. Not that not that to myself. So. I probably won't believe in fighting for the British till I've still I'm punching Sam Gilly in the face and it's sitting ringside, you know what I mean? So obviously, you know, fight week kicks off today with the grand arrivals. Um, you know, massive, massive, massive fight week. How how did you sort of find um, you know, last fight week? Did you feel sort of nervous at any point? You know, how did you sort of find that? And how do you think you'll find uh, this one? Do you mean like the the with, with the big production and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, well, it's fight, fight week, fight week. You've always got, you've always got nerves. I have anyway, and it should, and it should have something. You're lying, but I've, I've, um, I think that, that this kind of stuff with all the media obligations, it sort of breaks your week up a little bit. So, um, it's like you, you've got your side set. Okay, we're doing this today, we're doing that the next day, and then before you know it, you make a wait, and then it's fight, it's fight time, and so it sort of keeps you busy, but. As I said, it's like it's an experience. So it's like it's like last time I focused on 
um, because it was so different for how big it all was. I focused on making sure my head was still switched on to the job, but I was still taking it in and and, and enjoying it because it, cause years ago I fought for a um a Russian promotion in MMA a couple of times, and they had they was a big massive production, and. I, after it, I, I never took it in as it was happening. And I always kicked myself a little bit for that. But I made sure last time I, I drew that fine line of taking it in, but still obviously keep my mind on the job and I'm, I'm looking to, to do, this, do the same this time. But by the looks of it, like this is, I'm not sure how many fights have been in Saudi now that they've done. I think it's three or four. And I think they're finding the feet a little bit as well. And um, they're looking on ways to improve certain aspects of it. And, and, and I think it's going to keep just keep building and bigger and bigger. So, I'm so grateful that I'm here to, to be a part of it again. 100%, mate. So, you know, on to the card. Which fight would you say you're most looking forward to, you know, apart from your own? Um, well, I'm looking forward to seeing Nick Ball win, win a world title and, and bring a, um, a world title back to the city. Can't wait for that. And then um, Parkin is young. I love, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Joseph Parker for, for what he does and the fact he fights anyone and how busy he's been. But then I just love Zhang because he's just, I seen him yesterday and he's just massive. He's, he's so, he's so big. He's just, he's a, um, and the fact that he, he's old as well and he's still putting in these performances. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his, so I'm looking forward to that one. But, um, and then, and then the main events, great as well. So it is, it, there's, there's plenty of good fights on there. So I am looking forward to, um, getting mine out of the way and then sitting and enjoying a night of good fights. Yeah, 100%, mate. So, lastly, have you got anything you want to promote, you know, say for your Instagram, the power of one, anything like that? Yeah, just as always, um, my sponsor is Samantha Hutchinson and then she, she she's, through her, I'm an ambassador for the power of one. It, it, it's a um, non-profit organisation that, that works in emerging markets and, 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 and um, Helps helps animal shelters and 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 women involved in that world all, all all over the world and I just ask anyone to just check them out and have a look. Power of one, and um and just give me any any and all support you can. And apart from that, just just thank you to my team, Spencer Brown, and everyone else for for making sure I can have another magical week in Saudi. Thanks so much for your time, mate. I really do appreciate it. Obviously, with it being fine, we can understand you're very busy. So yeah, I really do appreciate you taking out the time to take this interview. And yeah, best of luck on Friday. And we'll definitely do it again in a couple of months. Oh, thanks so much, Mason. And, and any time, I'm, I'm always happy to be on. And th thanks for having me again.